If you're starting out as a software engineer, I'm going to share a few things that I did many years ago for you to enter and thrive in the software engineering market. So let's get into it. At this point in time, I have many years experience in software engineering. I've worked in various fields, including desktop development, mobile development, data engineering, and a bit of AI. I still remember when and how I got my first professional experience in software. What I did back then can be useful for you if you're just starting out. So let's get into it. When I was a grad student on my second semester, I already wanted to use the knowledge I gained so far practically. So I talked about that with a friend of mine and he mentioned back then that his mother-in-law was a sales representative and she needed some system to manage her clients and the products she used to sell. So I reached out to her, introduced myself and started listening to her needs. I used that opportunity to learn Java Swing, yeah I know, very old stuff, to make a system for her to manage her clients and the products she used to sell. Back then I knew nothing about databases so I had to manage the data using text files which was the knowledge I had back then to persist the data and get the job done. I didn't make a lot of money back then with that system, but it taught me so many things about software development, data management, and especially how to listen to a client and create what they need. A few semesters later, I decided to get into competitive programming, and my dedication to my learning caught the attention of my professors. So they recommended me to a startup working on social media data. For this startup, I worked on some web scraping projects and it was the first time that I had to deal with a system that had to run on multiple machines at the same time. The system itself was a huge mess, but it taught me my first lessons about architecture and scaling. After that second opportunity, I still got involved in the startup world. So some of my friends and I used to go to some startup events. One of these friends of mine got in touch with a really rich investor and businessman in an event like this. And they created a startup in our hometown in Brazil. The startup company was kind of like a local version of Uber Eats. And they were looking for an Android developer to handle the Android version of the app. P.S. That was before Flutter and React Native became popular. So I was passing by this friend of mine, I heard his conversation about that company with someone else and then I said, hey bro, I can get the job done. So he challenged me to develop a small mobile app to show that I could get the job done and gave me one week to develop it. If I remember well, I did the whole thing in less than two days and then I got the job. So this job gave me straight access to this rich investor which was also a big businessman from my hometown. During this job, I learned a lot about mobile development and mobile app architectures like MVVM. And I was also learning new technologies in my spare time like React Native from hybrid mobile development. It turns out that this startup didn't go really well and they had to shut down the company. Do you remember the rich investor I told you about? Well, it turns out that even though the company failed, he liked my job and hired me to work as a mobile developer now with React Native for his other company, which was an internet provider from my hometown. This job led me to learn so many things during my time there and continue to evolve as a software developer, and I even received some awards during my time there. To summarize everything, I would say a few things that led me to get my first job and continue to evolve in my career. Before we do that, if you like this kind of content, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about software engineering. And never forget that, the more you learn, the better you become and more value you can provide. So let's keep going. First, networking. My network started with university friends and extended outside. 
They presented me with my first opportunity to showcase my skills. Be nice to your friends and demonstrate that you can do the job. Second, always learning. As much as I can, I'm always sharpening my skills. While my university course focused on theory, I learned practical skills like mobile development in my free time, which helped me to land jobs. Third, strive for excellence. Always do your best and complete what you start. You never know when someone important is watching. Fourth, before gaining, contribute, especially when you're just starting out. Try to find opportunities to help people with software and find a company that allows you to contribute to what they do, even if they don't pay you anything for that. At the beginning of your career, knowledge is worth far more than money, especially because when you're starting out, you don't know that much to make a significant sum. So focus on your learning and improvement. I would also recommend trying to improve some open source project that you care about. Remember, this is about real contribution, not just some empty random commit messages to increase your GitHub numbers. And that's pretty much it. I hope these tips helps you to enter and thrive in the software engineering market. And never forget that in any market in high demand, excellent people always thrive, no matter how much competition they have. I hope you liked it. And I see you in the next time.